blame other people. You always want to you want to hold other people to the fire, but you're not holding yourself people. to the fire. You just said you give it 50%. Yeah, man, just sitting here listening to uh, Eric Thomas, uh, you know, spit out that good knowledge, that good energy that uh, everybody, that I know I'll be needing. Um, so, yeah, so this evening, man, I just wanted to connect with you guys and uh, speak more in depth about uh, the foundation that I'm coming up with and I came up with. And uh, I feel like I haven't actually went more in depth on what Kuju Love is uh, for the people in my city. That way, you know, um, I can build... Um, things around me, you know, for, for the greatness of the children and, and as well the community. So, I just want to get started. And again, I want to thank you guys uh, for actually uh, reaching out to me and being so so thoughtful, um, you know, with just Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, and uh, YouTube. You know, the comments is, is much love, and I appreciate everything um, that everyone has reached out to me, you know, even taking the time out to even watch my video. Uh, that is much love, and I appreciate that. Uh, with all of me, you know what I'm saying, with all of me, so, again, thank you guys for that, so, Could You Be Love, um, is a foundation for domestic violence, it actually started, uh, this, you know, around March 8th of 2016, um, so it was, you know, roughly a year and a half, so I've just been getting the information on what I want to do, um, you know, I don't want to rush anything, but I want everything to be right on point, so, this, these videos, they're not rushed, uh, I've been, you know, thinking about these for, you know, a couple of months now, so I just like, hey, it's time for me to jump off the porch and go ahead and start making these videos. Um, and this is, you know, this is just a, uh, I guess you could say practice, you know, I have uh, goals to start speaking in front of people and, you know, and just build up my, my confidence to get on that level that I need. So, this is one of the flyers that you may start seeing around uh, the city. You know, hopefully you can see it, you know, it just explains, you know, yeah, build our community. For our children so and that's that's something that I want to really uh, do is build a community for our children that way they can build communities for their children and so and so on that way we can become a one power and love ourselves completely so uh, I'm just going to read off the mission statement that I have for you guys and uh, we can go from there and uh, if you have any questions uh, it would be very much you know just hit me up on Facebook you know through the comments uh, inbox, you know, I'm, I accept that I will reply back to everyone that wants to help out or just donate, you know, whatever. I appreciate that. And as well, speaking of donation, um, my, I have t-shirts, you know, I still have the, um, well, a few of the Black Wall Street shirts that are, uh, you know, they, uh, they sold really well and people still, uh, really enjoyed them. But I have a new shirt coming out for Breast Council Month of, of for October, and they are on set the, uh, Be the Change shirt, you know, Could You Be Loved, and they're going to be uh, lemonade pink, <laughs> um, pink lemonade color, um, and it's going to be just for their awareness for the breast cancer because um, a lot of people, you know, have to deal with that and just want to bring awareness and could you be love is here for everyone and everything that, it, that uh, shows love and appreciation. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so the overview, uh, my overview is um, our foundations are for families that suffer from domestic violence. We are here to help families grow relationships through the children of our future. Programs for children to strengthen relationships and advocate a safer community for, uh, for our people as well. So with that being said, you know, basically, uh, Could You Be Love is a foundation and I will be speaking one-on-one -on -one with children uh, the more that, uh, you know, right now I do have uh, people that I have a program called Listen. And what that is is basically where, you know, I just sit there and it, it explains, I sit there and listen to people. And, um, and it's, you know, it's free, of course. I don't charge anything for it. I don't care about money. Or anything, um, but I just sit there and listen to people and they explain themselves. I, I, what I, I'm a firm believer that you know, if you have anything, it's best to just get it out in the universe. Don't keep it inside. You know, um, this is the reason why I actually started doing what I'm doing because it's been it burning a hole through me to get this information out. And I have a lot of things that I want to say. A lot of um, I have a whole notebook of things that I just sit there and write the ideas that I have for the foundation and, and self appreciation. So I have three goals for us, um, for the foundation, and I'm going to go ahead and start them. So the main goal, well, the first goal is our top goal for this year is to build and become as one. I am looking for team members that are going to stand up for the cause of domestic violence and help bring, uh, bring these fam families back together. So with that being said, you know, the situation that I went through, um, it basically it broke uh, my family uh, apart in one day. And I know I am not the only one that deals with this. Um, and the people that that's going to have to suffer the most, I believe, are the children because they still have a majority of their life to live, you know, depending on the parents 
and what they do, you know, that's still a sad case, and we have to look at that as well. But uh, I think that a lot of times domestic violence um, is overlooked for children, and we necessarily we uh, spend a lot of our time just dealing with the mother and the father, but the children are the ones that suffer a lot too. So another goal is domestic violence is an ongoing issue in America today. The, the most undocumented cases in our own community. I am wanting to build programs that will keep the children active and, able, and, and enable them to find out what is truly inside of them and follow and chase their dreams. So with that being said, you know, I don't, you know, my dreams, um, they were actually, I feel like they were put on the back burner. And it took me uh, a little bit longer to figure myself out. And I believe that if a child understands, you know, who they are at an earlier age, they're able to actually figure out their purpose in their life. And, and go forward and build and become who they really true that they know that they they already are it's just they have to go search for it and find it again so um so that's what could you be love and the third main the third goal is it starts with you and it starts with me so with that being said you know um i had to figure out what's most important to me i had to um stop smoking and i had to stop drinking i had to figure out a, a healthy health plan to love myself to appreciate everything around me people animals you know it starts with you and then the more that I learn to appreciate myself, the more it's been easier for me to, um, to never disrespect anything outside of my body. So if you know that if you're, if you're in a domestic, the, uh, domestic violence relationship right now, just take a closer look at it. You know, f figure a safe way out of it. Um, hopefully, if you can show the video to your man or to your woman uh, and be like, hey, you know, this is not okay. You know, and if they don't want to, you know, if the person that you with don't accept the, you, you for who you are and don't accept um, what you're going through, then you need to take a closer look at your life and ask yourself, is it worth it? You know? So, programs that are making. You know, I've learned that sports and extracurricular activities help your children and anyone cope with a lot of problems that are putting their mind uh, on an objective. These are some of the programs that are in the work. So, I'm just going to read them off and I'll explain to them why I have, and these are, there's many more that I want to put, but these are the main ones. So one um, is going to be AAU basketball. Um, the reason why I put that is because I love basketball and football, um, but when I was going through the things that I was going through, uh, going, playing basketball through uh, practice and going to uh, events on the weekend, that kept me, it kept me cool, it kept me cope to where I can handle uh, schoolwork and keep my mind off of the issues that I was going through. So AAU is a great thing, and I'm um, uh, searching for all coaches that I can help out, you know, even coaching or just anything with the children, I'm down for it, I'm with them. Uh, art classes and uh, painting classes, and the reason why, because a lot of children I've noticed uh, drawing around them, they enjoy art, and they want to learn how to draw, and for me, it's just, just jumping out and start drawing and, and uh, go forward. So art is, is one program that we're going to look into. Uh, singing and dancing and what that is going to do is going to keep the uh, the child mind on go you know they're going to be able to sing and dance and love and appreciate themselves and figure out their body and as well what that does is it pumps the muscle in the brain and you know you have to think in your body at the same time instead of sitting at home on the game or on these great cell phones that we have um, wasting their energy um, debate classes and this is a huge one because this is going to teach uh, a lot of children how to argue and the world we live in, you know, arguing is a, is a it, I mean, you call it arguing or having a conversation, but the better, the, the better you can debate with a person, the more you get your point across. You know, you have to think and you have to use your thinking abilities to get your point across and mean what you say and say what you mean. So at the same time, you know, if we start out at an early age with a child, you know, with a red crayon, explain, you know, why, why you want this red crayon, what you're going to do with it. And then, you know, each child have better arguments. You know, of course, we both can give both of them a red crayon. We just allow their mind to think about, you know, what they're doing and why they're doing it. Uh, college planning classes. So, of course, you know, um, the children I deal with, I want them to be the best that they can be. So, you know, of course, all children not want, not want to go to college. They might do whatever they want to do. But the ones that do and really believe we're going to, we're going to uh, coach them up to where they can go and excel in college. Um, me, it took me a little while just to figure out what I want to do, but I feel like now... Uh, semesters, you know, I'm getting 4.0s and I want to excel and be the best person I could be to give to the children. Uh, and the last one right now is the health uh, classes. Um, and what, that, what that's going to do um, is uh, it's going to incorporate eating habits and exercising. So like AAU, there's going to be other programs where we, you know, play soccer, uh, run, you know, be outside, get in sunlight. You know, we, we're going we're gonna to appreciate uh, the body and the mind. So by saying that, we're going to learn how to eat properly. We're going to...